ke dama oye ke boom so what's up guys uh good morning good afternoon good evening depending on where you guys are watching this video from so let's discuss what is trending currently in Nigeria. i don't know if you guys have heard about the news of course uh, we are still talking about mobad now the same mobad son dna test is finally out you know the whole reason for this dna test is because viewers fans are asking how to do the dna test People like uh, Very Dark Man, Kenobu Lawyer, and so many others are on a case to do the DNA case, uh, test. They do not care if she's a grieving wife or a grieving mother. They don't care. They just wanted her to do the DNA test because there were so much allegations. Well, nobody knew who to point because she too was lacking when it comes to Moba's death. She had some responsibility as a wife that she should have done but she refused to do it. And because of that, a lot of viewers thought that she was complicit. And because that she, they thought she was complicit, they started demanding for the DNA test. So as at yesterday, the news broke out that the DNA test was finally out. And guess what? Who told us about the DNA test? Online content creators. They are the one telling us about this DNA test though. It's not as if uh, the family issued a public statement. No. Online content creators are telling us about Mobile's DNA test. Not even his wife, not even the hospital who did the DNA test, the clinic, whatsoever. The physician, I don't know. Nobody is telling us about DNA test, but online content creators are the ones telling us about a DNA test. Can you imagine, guys? Can you imagine? Well, According to OGB, that is uh, the Nigeria, one of uh, Nigeria uh, comedia based on uh, TikTok and the social media said, DNA, uh, mobile DNA, mobile DNA test is finally out. And uh, he also said, where the man that promised mobile wife 10 million naira, DNA test is out, bring the 10 million naira. So you expect a man who promised Mobad's wife and Mobad's son 10 million naira if Mobad's wife do a DNA test and the DNA test actually proved that Mobad is the father of that boy. You want the guy to bring 10 million naira when the guy haven't seen any DNA test. Are you part of Mobad's family? You want the guy to believe a word that coming from you, OJB. To give 10 million naira to Moba's wife. Are you part of Moba's family? How do you even come about the DNA test? Why is the DNA test not uh, posted online? Or not even posted online? Posted through the clinic who will carry out the DNA test. Well, here is another lady again who is well uh, popular on uh, on uh, social media as well. Ruth, Ruth said the DNA confirmed Moba is the father of his, of his son. <laughs> then this other guy said DNA result confirmed Mobad is the father of his son. That was what that was trending yesterday. So how do how can the general public believe that actually the DNA test proved there was even any DNA test conducted? How will the general public believe? Because it's not Mobad's father or Mobad's mother that asked for a DNA test. It was the public that asked for a DNA test. Because they believe Mobad wife was complicit. So because the public has a DNA test, you cannot do any do a DNA test and hide it under your cupboard. What was the need of the DNA test? Is it not to clarify the public that they are lying against you? So since it's the public that you are trying to uh, clarify, you should also post the DNA test to the public. But if if the public wearing the one that uh, pressured you to do the DNA test. It was Mobas mom and Mobas dad. Then the public do not need to get involved. You should show the 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 DNA test to Mobas wife, uh, to Mobas mom and Mobas uh, dad. But this time it, well, it was the public. So the public, you must show the public uh, the DNA test. You cannot say, oh, it doesn't concern the public anymore because the public, we are the people that forced you to do the DNA test. The one may OJB and other uh, content creators coming out to start announcing DNA tests. 
of a, of a child. Ah, without proving the result, the result of the test just by your mouth. Who are you? Who are you that everybody should be believing that actually you are you? Were you the one that carried out the DNA test? How did you ascertain the DNA test? Well, let's listen to Kemi Olulu here and what she has to say concerning that uh, DNA test. Of course, you know Kemi Olulu will most definitely speak her mind concerning that DNA test. And according to what she said, I am offline on medical leave till December 2023. According to authorities and mainstream media houses, there has been no DNA test conducted in Nigeria on Moba's son since his father died. Bumbi Aloba is using a protected burner account and paid influencers to prove some point to the gullible public. Many Nigerians have no idea you could actually pay a blogger or influencer to push a non existing story. Or a pathetic lie to make it go viral. As a professional blogger since 1999 and journalist since 1994, I have never been part of this deceitful practice, or would be, or I would be filthy rich. But instead of always crowdfunding my work, Aloba is simply using the manipulative lie she pushed the day Moba died. Naramali, the musician who knew her well, posed some disturbing questions on what happened to his former labor signing. One of them caught my attention, and it, it was who paid Easter Block to say it was an ear infection. It was Wumbi Aloba, the wife who acted as family spokesperson. It has not been confirmed or denied if she actually paid the block to push that narrative. This lover, on the other hand, has ranked in millions to push false narrative. I am done with this mobile case and gotten, and gotten what I needed out of it. I will be writing an article on Global Magazine on the fall of Nigerian music industry, including cultism, sex, and drugs. Failure to take an adult man to the hospital and the destruction of, uh, destruction of surveillance cameras at his residence. <laughs> I am not a carrier of fake news, nor am I a prophetess. I investigate and, and, and analyze events carefully. If I want to tease the news, I will. I tease David having two babies this year, way before his uh, Anita drama started. I tease the COVID-19 death of uh, Abakari, chief of staff. Don't ever affiliate me with a lawless country who have no clue what authentic news is. All the influencers who tweeted that imaginary DNA result is how, is how did not post the result. Don't allow yourself to be gullible and rubbish because of your poor mentality. Well, I will stop there. Exactly now. They should post the DNA uh, test. Now, you cannot just say, oh, DNA test result is how. So, where is the result? Where is it? So, we should just believe you. Who be you? May public will believe you. Hmm? If you want people to believe you, then why didn't you um, uh, carry all the Mobad case on your head and uh, they tell us who actually ended Mobad's um, life? Now you they come outside telling us about a DNA test without results. You, so you know what I think, and my conclusion is that because Mobad case they trend, everybody won't be the first to carry news. Even all those that content creators too. They, will, they want to be the first to carry more bad news because check the that uh, uh, OJB tweet. More than one million impression. That is money for him already. More than one million impression. That is money for him already. He's making money out of it. And check the people who tweeted about it. They have thousands of millions of impression. That is money for them already because they were the first person to broke that news. So forget. It's all about still making money for them. It's all about still trending on the mobile's name and making everybody self. It's all about still trending. It's only a few that are trying to get the truth out of this whole matter. The rest, eh, they are still trying to make money. Coming up with, uh, how can you say DNA test result is out? You don't, you didn't post it. Nothing, nothing. And the, are you same person give mobile the wife money? Me a promise her. Who are you? You get the result. Show the result. But it's all money for them. That is my 
conclusion here. That's my conclusion. And so let me leave that. Uh, let's talk about uh, David Don Choma. Did you know a pastor prophesied as I last year that David Don Choma will welcome twins? Yes, so there are see also. And uh, not just only that, Kimi Olu Lawyer also uh, said that as well as at uh, 2022. But because, you know, Kimi Olu Lawyer is not a pastor, so they don't believe that she can uh, see the future. But according to Gospel, Ogu Chuku said, God told me, as at, I think, uh, as at, sorry, as at 4th November 2022, he said, he wrote this, he said, God told me he fine is dead, but he can give trauma twins in a next childbed. If fine cannot come back to life, this is their time to make things right. He is the, he, he is the God of restoration. My condolences to the family of Adeleke. That was November 4, 2022. Ordinary person should know. Well, uh, let me say oh, ordinary person that. If a grieving mother lost a baby, of course, you'll be open because you were supposed to give birth next again. So you'll be open for twins now. But let me not say that. And I hear a lot of uh, controversial statements about fertility, about uh, pain surrogacy, or um, uh, uh, going to a fertility doctor. It was in the lab, they made those babies. Come on, man. See, now God still did give children. If God refused to breathe soul into, those, into that flesh, there will not be a child. There are people who have spent billions, millions trying to get pregnant, trying to have a child of their own, trying to able do surrogacy. It doesn't work because God knows Alara. So it's left for God. Don't so please, and that narrative should be pushed aside. I don't want to be hearing that at all. Let them enjoy uh, their time with their kids. And again, I would like to advise Choma hmm? or whoever is close to Choma Tela. Do not allow David Adeleke to breed David Doe home whenever he's coming home. Because David Doe will carry his phone to record every incident, to record his twins and post it online. But David Adeleke, that knows exactly what he's doing, will not do that. So Choma should protect his at home. Tell David Doe, whenever you are coming back home, please come as David Adeleke. Don't come to my house as David Doe. Don't come to our house as David Doe. Come to our house as David Adeleke that is very, very protective of his family. Not the one that is online freak. David Doe that is online freak. That will post anything on social media. You know, she should protect it because, see, you know they know where temptation they come from. This world is a really crazy world. You don't know where it comes from. There is spirituality in this world. Very, very strong spirituality in this world. So you have to be extremely careful. At least do your bit to be careful. So that even though the aunt meets you, you will say, oh God. I was extremely careful. So if this one is your will, and let your will be done. Well, I thank you guys for watching the support you got. Link. Have a wonderful day. Stay blessed. Catch you next time.